Good Friday morning. A man who is kind benefits himself, but a cruel man hurts himself. This proverb can change your life. It will affect your life. You can do yourself a world of good, or you can torment yourself depending on what you do with this proverb. This proverb is an inspired truth about kindness, and the results are certain. God blesses kind people with goodness, but trouble chases the cruel. Merciful people are kind even to themselves, but unmerciful people, they torment themselves. The kind are going to be in heaven, but the cruel won't. The cruel know nothing of God's grace. Humanity is cruel and selfish by nature. Since Adam and Eve, humanity has been depraved. Titus 3.3 says, For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by others and hating one another. Kindness towards others, it comes from the Holy Spirit. And it's a trait that only the righteous have. The righteous, by showing mercy to others and themselves, bring blessings on their lives. But the unmerciful, with hard hearts towards others and themselves, bring pain and suffering on their own lives. Mercy is kindness to those who don't deserve it and they can't repay it. It forgives obligations and debts. Mercy gives up rights in order to help others, even when the choice is costly. God loves mercy and he rewards it. When you show mercy to others, God blesses you with an abundant amount of mercy. In his Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. It's easier to show mercy to others and to ourselves when we remember that we were given mercy and that the merciful shall obtain mercy. Heavenly Father, how I praise you and thank you for all the mercy you have shown toward me and that while I was yet a sinner, you didn't give me what I deserve, but you showed me mercy. You showed me mercy by redeeming my life and clothing me in the righteousness of Christ. Lord, may I imitate the merciful way that Christ lived by bestowing your mercy and your compassion on everyone I meet today. May I live as you would have me live, in Jesus' name and for his glory, I pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.